First of all, I would like to thank the Congress organization for kindly accepting my communication and allowing me to speak today about one of the perhaps lesser known aspects in the scientific world of invasive alien species, the social effects caused by an anomalous regulation of invasive alien species that ultimately impose an ineffective system for their management. To do this, I will divide the communication into two parts. First, I will talk about the list of invasive alien species, the, the legal tool that allows the administration of countries to distinguish what should be or not as an EAS. Uh, so despite what science says, control will be not exercised, uh, exercised against those species that are not list. Once this list are presented as a general rule, uh, I will highlight the two social problems I have found when regulating them. One from the international sphere, where the list is used as a system to manage troublesome species, and another from the Spanish perspective, which I have studied in depth and incorporates ex exceptions for socio-economic uses. Also, although uh, I will not go into the concept the concept of invasive alien species from an ecological terminology. The truth is uh, that the identification of these species by all those criteria that makes them invasive is a great importance for the legal identification, constituting the first step to achieve real and effective control as well as to restore nature to its previous state. For this, it's necessary that public authorities create lists of such species found in each country's territory to meet the requirements of being an, an alien species harmful to the environment with human introduction, introduction and often forgotten factor of time to subsequently exercise effective control over them. The socio-economic uh, socio effects of the legal level invasive alien species are truly sever worldwide. Establishing a wide possibility for administrations to eradicate these species, these effects include a new species in, of including a new species, a new species in the ES list have severe consequences for any activity related to it. The Article 7 of Real Decreto 630 of 2013 in Spain details the situation of fauna and flora after the addition of, of this uh, <coughs> and the implications involved. Firstly, it entails the general prohibition of possession, transport, trafficking, and trade of life, leaf specimens of the remainings or propagals that could survive or reproduce, including foreign trade. And also, the effects is generally applied. It is true that according to the normative body itself, it is possible to limit the severity of the effects when there are reasons for research, health, or safety safety with prior administrative authorization, of course, or when they are part of control or education plan that contemplates this purpose. But generally, uh, all these things uh, are forbidden, forbidden. Therefore, it is a regulatory prohibition subject to possibly waiving of effects. Secondly, a uh, species listed as invasive is prevented from being introduced into nature, obviously. This effect is also limited because um, also the Article 7 does not specify it clearly. The annex that includes the ES delimits some in, in some region specifically. For example, um, the modification of the, uh, of the catalog in 2019 um, at some flora that is only considered as invasive in the Canary Islands. Thirdly, when an invasive uh, <coughs> species introduced into nature is extracted from the nature for any reason, it cannot be reintroduced. But the exception that reintroduction can be carried out if, if it is authorized by the competent public administration understood as the general state administration or the autonomous communities and cities of Ceuta and Melilla. Based again on the ongoing research processes or where appropriate on the health or safety of people. Finally, 
the promotion of and fostering of invasive foreign species listed as such are prohibited. prohibited. It should be noted that these restrictions are not unique in Spain, uh, as the European list of invasive species uh, has very specific and similar consequences in the Article 7 of, Re of Reglement 1143 of 2014 on the prevention on the management of introduction and spread of invasive foreign species. One, uh, <coughs> once the general cases of species inclusion in list are determined, it is possible to find internationally some countries that, that use these little tools inappropriately. Not to promote the control and eradication of invasive foreign species de facto, but rather to have free reign to eradicate animals that may be considered bothersome within their countries. Of course, the invasive alien level gives animal a highly pejorative or negative character that authorizes the mass elimination of animals from an ethically superior position, such as the case, for example, of Poland, which bases the inclusion of the domestic cat on a couple of articles, particular scientific articles demonstrating they are harmful to our, our agriculture in a Polish region. The case of Colombia, which declares Pablo Escobar's hippos as invasive, where there is an, a huge army of 169 hippos in the country. Or the case of the Dominican Republic, which uh, where species like the dog, the ferret, the pig, or the donkey have been listed as invasive. Administrative efficiency is in this matter is greatly compromised if all management hopes are placed on the census model. So it is necessary to introduce the other factors affecting the management of invasive alien species, but always orbiting around this list as a central indicator of the fauna and flora to be acted upon. For this, public administration must be based on the principle of prevention, early warning, control and eradication, and based on this, guide their public policies. However, this, punish, this punitive system for the legally designated fauna and flora should not serve as a political opportunity mechanism to get rid of bothersome fauna. On the other hand, from the Spanish perspective, the strict restrictions on trade, transport and possession lead certain actors to be socially and economic, economically affected by the inclusion of some species in the list. To avoid social conflict, the national government decides to pass a law allowing the existence of species in this list but accepting them from the list's application effects. This refers to the concept of naturalized species. With the approval of the Law 7 of 2018 of July 20, amending the Law 42 of 2007 on natural heritage and biodiversity, the possibility is introduced is introduced in the, into the Spain concept of invasive alien species for such species to be considered as naturalized. This is according, according to the Article 3.29 ter, implies that the fauna or flora established in an eco ecosystem, ecosystem with a permanent character as long as this permanence is due to an introduce, introduction prior to the promulgation of the, le, of the law of 2007 on natural heritage and biodiversity can be considered as naturalized. And it, additionally, there shall be no indication or evidence that the permanence of the alien species severely negative affects the environment and the ecosystem they inhabit. Finally, the species, the species must present a special or social economic interest to be considered as naturalized. So, the species must be social, um, social or economically interesting to be naturalized. The declaration of naturalized species has very significant consequences for the restriction imposed, according to the Article 74, 64. Excuse. It is possible to suspend the effects of the list, of the list or even the list of species, if. Has, it has been designated with these characteristics. 
The result of the, this normative background are evident in the daily life of invasive alien species, and especially not dwarfed in fauna that, despite its markedly harmful nature, finds likely acceptance for the exploitation due to its socio-economic or purely, or purely recreational aspects. Consequently, there is an environmental responsibility regulation that in practice continues to promote harmful practices against biodiversity as hunting, fishing and production forms. In conclusion, the ecological effects of invasive alien species when social effects are manifested are sometimes mit mitigated from the political sphere to achieve vested objectives. It is important that from the field of ecology it is understood that it is necessary to educate politicians of all kind on this matter. Otherwise, their efforts will be in vain. At the end of the day, the invasive alien species manage, management are not those uh, indicated by science, but those indicated by law. There is a clear influence of the science on the law, as demonstrated by the modification of the Spanish or European list in the recent years, but it must be clear that without this modification or inclusion, it is not considered as such at management level. Therefore, this social education is essential. Thank you very much.